Hey folks, David here, KD8EYF. I'm going to show you a quick demo of Moto Turbo ARS, GPS, and text messaging to APRS. Right here is the status screen of the ARS server. It will show the call sign, the DMR ID, first and last time heard, and the status of the radio. Right here is the turbo radio, UHF. I'm going to turn it on to a channel with ARS and GPS enabled. Go over there, get a good signal. Now the radio's on and should automatically register after a certain period of time. As you can see, we have a hello. It's transmitting location, no lock. It's because it's in the house. Now, if I had a channel set up for ARS with no GPS revert, it would just transmit the registration status. It would not try to transmit location. So what, I, what you do is you set up three channels on the channel that you want to usually slot to have this set up on. Uh, channel 1 would be no ARS, no GPS. Channel 2 would be ARS with no GPS to just transmit your location. Channel 3 would be ARS and GPS uh, to track your registration and location. Um, issues you might find uh, when you're turning on GPS, uh, we're still kind of experimenting with that here, is um, imagine talking on 144.39 uh, voice traffic voice and data, you know, uh, it's not going to work out when you got two things going on at the same time. You're going to get uh, channel bonds when you're trying to transmit and data's going. Well, it's something we're still playing with and uh, we'll figure it out. But um, So the radio's on. There's no location. I'm going to turn it off. And it should update to goodbye or something. Leave. Uh, if you pull the battery, you won't get a leave, but if you turn it off gracefully, it will send a message that it's shutting down and the radio's not on the uh, network anymore. I'm going to turn it back on and show you a text message example. It's on, waiting for it to register. Uh, one thing I'm going to show you uh, with the radio. Um, Sorry, guys. I need a camera operator. It's kind of crappy doing it myself. I'm going to send a text message. The message will be the letter W, and I'm going to send it to the ARS server. And what will happen is it will send me a message back saying all units with a reply of all units that are act actively registered. So it'll message. Let's go. Message, write, letter W. I hit send. Now I go to my APR server, which I already have stored in the contacts. Message sent. And I receive a reply. Available. And since my radio is the only radio set up right now, it shows it right here. 
uh, my radio is available. Which is pretty cool because you can uh, find whose radio is online, you know, um, you know, if you want to make a call or something. So that's that. Let's uh, let me show you real quick the GPS. All you do is click the call sign of that user. Boom. That's exactly where I'm at. APR set FI. You can set in your um, uh, TurboNet configuration file the update intervals and stuff. It's still something we're trying to we're trying to uh, tweak and get figured out. Uh, I'll show you real quick a demo of texting. Uh, APRS droid on my uh, Galaxy Nexus to send text message to the radio. It's actually kind of impressive how fast it is. So I already have it in my uh, list of contacts. I'm going to message test, testees. Testies, one, two, three. That's gonna break. But you get the message. Hit OK to send. Message is sent. It should pop up. Oh, it says a uh, message will be sent as soon as you start tracking. So I'm going to enable tracking on the APR destroyed. Let's see, sync the shot now. Radio pops up with the text. See what's going on. The, uh, the R from the turbo is knocking the camera into craziness. There we go. There's a text message. And if I hit reply, <laughs> yeah, it's going crazy. And there's the first one. Hello. I'll hit. Messages, inbox, inbox full, hello, I'll hit reply, quick text, I'll just uh, type some talk. Hit send, I'll probably send the camera out of whack. Message sent. Should pop up in here. I never received a message on here though. But anyway, yeah, the message should show up on here if I was actively tracking. Okay, now uh, I'd like to show you, what do I want to show you? Uh, one thing you do want to set on your, uh, on your server and your subscriber radios is confirm uh, your uh, data call confirmed, I believe, to false or something like that. Otherwise, it's going to keep sending the same message until it gives up and the radios actually receive it.
Uh, something you might want to play around. I still haven't actually figured it all out. This thing's going crazy. Okay. So we got the text messaging. We did the GPS. And we did the registration. So I think that's it. Um, it's a really cool uh, thing you can add to your turbo network. Just a few Perl modules that you have to install on, on, a, on a Linux box and um, attach it to a dedicated uh, radio. If you look up the, uh, the Finland guys, they put a non-display HT inside a rack mount case and uh, use that. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm using right now just a 4550, but I'm probably going to do the same thing they did because a whole 4550 dedicated to uh, just this is kind of a waste when you can use HT. Um, yeah, there's a little, uh, it's a little quirky, the, the software, getting everything, especially the configuration file. Uh, you can't have any weird spaces or any uh, kind of weird characters in the configuration file at all, or else the thing will die, and, and it will appear to be working, and it won't, and you don't know why. Um, so, uh, and there's a bug with the uh, longitude calculations for this side of the earth. If you go to um, my GitHub, uh, just Google KD8EYF, and... Uh, GitHub or Git uh, have the Turbo ARS uh, package on there, and with the modified changes for uh, this side of the planet, North America. Uh, so that's it. I hope uh, this uh, gets a little popular. And just got to be careful not to uh, make sure your subscribers don't have ARS enabled on slot one, or else you're going to get a nasty little message. Uh, all right, guys, that's it. KD80UIF out of here.